after you're done watching this video, you're going to see why it's easy to fall in love with Elgin, Texas. Hi, my name is Omar Pineda. I'm a realty here in the Austin area with eXp Realty. And today is I'm going to present to you the ultimate guide to Elgin, Texas. Let's get into it. So here's what to expect from this video. We're going to be talking a little bit about the history and origin, the historical sites, why do business in Elgin, areas, the Elgin Independent School District, areas, universities and colleges, major employers, major master plan communities. So these are new homes, new construction homes, and the top 10 things to do in Elgin. Starting off, where railroad history meets sausage sensation. So founded in 1872 by the Houston and Texas Central Railroad, Elgin owes its origins to the railroad industry. The city was named after Robert Morris Elgin, the railroad's land commissioner, following the common practice of naming new railroad towns after company officers. How about that railroad officer named after Elgin, Texas? That's pretty cool. El okay, flood origins. Check this out. Elgin's existence was shaped by a major flood on the Colorado River in 19... In 1869, this event altered the original plans for the railroad, leading to the creation of the town, town of Elgin. So a history filled with railroads and a flood. Let's, let's keep going. Barbecue Bliss. Here we go. Renowned for its world-class barbecue, Elgin tantalizes taste buds with its savory smoked meats and flavorful sausage. The city's culinary her heritage adds delicious dimension to its rich history. Let's take a look at where, uh, what that looks like. I went ahead and marked some of the places that I just uh, barbecue places on my maps here. Now, let me just take this away. We're going to use that for a later slide. But everything you see here, we have Myers Elgin Smokehouse. We have Southside Market bar Market and Barbecue, and we have Elgin's Local Goods. These are the top barbecue places that I was able to find my research for Elgin, Texas. Now, really quickly, I, I know I'm getting a little ahead here, but what you see here highlighted in orange are the three master plan communities that I'm going to be, be talking about here in a later slide. But so you can kind of see proximity wise. Uh, one, one, one barbecue place that I really wanted to show you was Myers Elgin Bar uh, Smokehouse Barbecue, but that's part of the top 10 list. So we'll get there momentarily. Now, small town charm. When I was touring Elgin, Texas, checking out one of the master plan communities, it gave me Pawnee vibes. So if you are a big fan of parks and recreation, I'm, wa I'm rewatching it for like the fifth time. Uh, and it just immediately made me think when I was rewatching it, man, this gives me like how I felt like when I was in Elgin, Texas, that very small town charm and vibes. So if you've ever wanted to, uh, see what it's like to experience what, a, what that small town living is like in Austin, Texas and Elgin, Texas might be, might be a winner here. So, small town charm. Beyond its historical significance and culinary delights, Elgin embodies the essence of small town Texas. With its friendly community, picturesque streets, and warm hospitality, Elgin offers visitors a big taste of small town charm. Mm. And boy, do they ever. Okay, now we're moving on to some of the historical sites that's around Elgin, Texas. So, Located just 19 miles east of Austin, Elgin is a charming community steeped in history dating back to its establishment in 1872 around the cotton around cotton and the railroads. Sausage Capital, we covered that, and it's recognized for, uh, by the National Trust for Historic Preservation as a national Main Street community. Elgin boasts a wealth of beautifully preserved historic sites that are sure to captivate history buffs and train enthusiasts alike. So we got that small town charm. We got the cap, the sausage capital of the world. We have railroad beginnings, flood, a flood origin story. I mean, that's pretty cool so far, if you ask me. All right, this H and TC Freight Depot. This was built in 1872. 
its elegant oldest building now serves now serves as the home of the elegant chamber of Com commerce and you'll notice a lot of the original buildings in the small town have been converted to city use or public use offices now we have this union depot museum and this is an actual picture that i i got from the website so it was recently been renovated and now the union depot houses a museum operated by the elegant historical association offering visitors a glimpse into the town's past that's pretty cool now built in 1906 the no finger house is now home to elegant city hall serving as a reminder of the historic of the town's elegant architectural history from historic murals to old banks and pharmacies elegant streets are lined with stories waiting to be discovered so you see this red brick that is what you'll see downtown elgin texas and i just love seeing that 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 red brick it, it definitely adds to just kind of like the charm and the uh, the essence of of elgin now elgin's proximity to downtown austin is just 20 miles from downtown austin on the east end we're talking east austin now elgin enjoys the perks of being in the fastest growing region of the metro area with easy access to the sh 130 corridor and future rail links in the pipeline getting from elgin to the heart of, of the action is a breeze uh, i'm going to show you in a later slide where elgin sits on the map and where big uh big employers like samsung and tesla is moving in and how close that is to elgin so it's a very strategic location i think that's why these builders are are really fighting to get buy some land and start building some some residential homes so the community spirit the people of elgin are the heartbeat of the town smart grounded and deeply committed to fostering growth and positive change embracing new opportunities that enhance the quality of life for all residents now if you've never been to a small town before uh you and you're coming from a big big city I cannot wait to see just your reaction to how things are because there's just something about Austin, Texas, and I'm originally from California, from a big city, and this is, and I would say Austin's a, a big city too. I mean, not comparative to LA or anything, but one thing I've noticed, especially in small towns, but I would even argue that this is kind of like all over Austin. So I don't know. I think this is a Texas thing, but everyone here, especially when you get into these master plan communities, they do like this text. I call. I mean, it's called the texas wave right so you're driving you have your hand on the steering wheel and you do one of these right the texas wave and everybody does that and it's just saying hi i see you and this is everyone in their car even if people are walking uh walking in the neighborhood they'll still do that especially in a small town i mean that i'm so used to it now but after doing uh, doing this video made me think of back home i'm like man you don't really i don't i never got that over there that's interesting so Elgin isn't just dreaming big, they're making it happen with a progressive, comprehensive plan in place and a proactive economic development program. So in my research, there are major, major players looking at Elgin, Texas for future development, not only on the residential side, but on the commercial side as well, especially because it is gaining so much momentum. So school system wise, Elgin has an elementary school, a middle school and a high school. And they have this, uh, well, two, Two elementary schools, three elementary schools, apologies, a high school, a middle school, and a Phoenix Learning Center. But in a later slide, I'll show you how Harvest Ridge, that's the name of one of these master plan communities. So Braun Homes, I think if I remember correctly, they were the first builder to partner up with, I think, the city to come up with the funding to build uh, another school within their community. I'll probably I need to, I, I might link that article in the description because I don't think I have that prepared with me uh, for this presentation. But here is a list of the area universities and colleges. So as you can see, if you're moving here with kids, uh, your adult kids, uh, there's going to be plenty of opportunity for uh, you know you know the higher level education universities, right? So Elgin, Texas has the school system in place, and as these uh, you know more of these. Uh, businesses come in and they contribute to the taxes local taxes that's how we're going to see maybe an increase in a lot of this public infrastructure like more more uh, colleges more elementary schools as you know as as it's the small town grows 
So here are some of the major employers, and I found it interesting that the Elgin School District was the ma the the, 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 major, the most major employer for the citizens the citizens of Elgin, Texas. And here's Meyer Sausage that we talked about earlier. They're they're on the list, and uh, this is this is going to be good to see how this changes over time, because Elgin is is growing so rapidly. And I just know this list is going to change over time. So HEB Grocery Store, Elgin Butler Brick, Hanson. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like on the map. Because I do remember uh, marking them out on the map. Okay, here we go. So we have the employers in black, right? And then in, in the kind of, this kind of reddish color, these were the, the barbecue places, right? So you could see everything is so uh, centrally located. Which is really nice. And again, these these items in orange are the master plan communities. You, we have Har Harvest Ridge by Braun Homes that I mentioned earlier, and Trinity Ranch by Century Communities. Century Communities, that's the name of the builder. And I believe that's the only builder in this community. Uh, same to go with uh, uh, Braun Homes in Harvest Ridge. I have actually toured Harvest Ridge. I have not gotten a chance to go to Trinity yet, but I will link in the description my tour, my home tours of some of the new builds I, I I explored when I was down there. And this is a brand brand new one. This one's called Lund Farms in Elgin, Texas. This is a 570 acre community that may be coming to Elgin, so it's in the works. If we go into this article, it's pretty exciting when you read that there's a 570 acre Lund farm community near Elgin that could break ground next summer and this was dated I think in 2023 so it's possible that this year that they, they could break ground if they get all their ducks lined up but one paragraph that I really want to bring out here that was exciting and this is kind of just showing you how much momentum and steam Elgin Texas is getting let's see the uh they said Elgin marked the best location and regulatory environment to deliver the master plan community, which they're hoping provides missing middle housing consisting of diverse home types and prices. The, the project aims to create a walkable neighborhood that, that leverages natural the natural features of the site by using floodplains as amenity space and restoring historic Blackland Prairie. That was my first time ever hearing about what that, uh, that, that term. In addition to the single family homes, Lund Farm could have nearly six 150 multi-family units as well as parks an amenity center and a, and a possible public safety facility let's see here there's something about all the commercial moving in that i really wanted to see if i can share with you in this particular video uh, maybe for the next one let's see Can we save it for the next one? Elgin City Manager. Okay, we're gonna have to save it for the next one because I can't. I'm not seeing it right off the bat. But there's, I mean, I think you get the gist. It's there's a lot of moving parts happening in Elgin, and I say all this because it's uh, Elgin, Texas. All these master plan communities, they're building homes at an affordable affordable starting point uh their starting point wise there's brand new homes in the high 200s but what they currently have for their inventory right now i've been seeing more in like the mid 300s right so people are going for a little bit bigger floor plants a little bit more uh i think more of the top higher end uh floor plants so that's why we're seeing it but they do have floor plants starting in the high 200s so that's pretty impressive given the you know the inventory of the market in other major metropolitan cities. So here's some of the master plan communities that I've already kind of mentioned, but let's take a, a closer look at some of these, right? So again, we have uh, Trinity Ranch by Century Communities here, a little bit south of uh, Elgin. And then across the way, you have Harvest Ridge by Braun Homes. And then lastly, so this one's this one's full and underway. The, this one's full and underway. They're still building out. They, I know they have homes that are inventory probably moving ready next 30, 60 days. And they definitely have to be built. So if you're looking for more of a custom home, 
then they definitely have all that for, for this year and and for probably uh, next year because they they're just they're still breaking they're still they still have so much space to develop uh, more residential more residential lots and then we have this one that's in the works right and again i'll zoom out here a little bit so you can kind of see the 290 is how you'll get here to elgin and then you'll cross mainer and then here's downtown austin right here here is downtown area the colorado river and where you know the city center is in downtown so from here to elgin is around 20 miles and i would say less than a 30 minute drive from uh from downtown but here's what makes elgin super exciting because right here in this area this little pocket right here i'm sorry I th yeah it is, it is it is uh east of the 130 so in this little area right here is where they're building the tesla gigafactory right and you could just see how close it is to elgin so mainer elgin are going to be good areas uh, because it's going to be a very close proximity to where the Tesla Gigafactory is. On top of that, if we go north and we could see how convenient, convenient Elgin is to the uh, 95 here. Because this is a direct road. Because this is where they're building the Samsung Semiconductor Facility. Right? So look at that. You have two major uh, access to transportation roadways to some major, major players. Uh, for employers, right? So Taylor's going to be popping off here in, in the next couple of years, and so is Hutto. So, and these two areas have affordable price points still. We're talking anywhere in the mid 300, so like three to 500,000 in that range. And these are brand new homes, and these builders right now are offering some pretty amazing incentives. So it's super exciting to be in Austin right now because you have all this development happening, not just on the residential side, but on the commercial side. And that's just that's just it's telling me how much momentum not just elgin but the city of austin in general has going for itself because it's able to it's attracting all this big business so that there that's a little overview of the master plan community in elgin let's look at okay now we're moving to the fun stuff the top 10 things to do in elgin texas first up is myers elgin smokehouse so known as a cutopia Texas. Myers has been rolling out world-class barbecue since 1949. The Meyer family has been perfecting their family secret sausage recipe, as well as mouth-watering brisket, ribs, and chicken for hungry Texans for almost seven decades. Shout out to Tom. If you're listening and you made it this far, this one's for you. This is the one I would recommend to get your barbecue fixing. Myers Elgin Smokehouse. I actually did... Uh, hyperlink the website Will you take me there take me there baby okay here it is meyer elgin steakhouse a uh, barbecue a uh, smokehouse <laughs> okay nice little video tour there we go there we go i wonder what the wait time is for this place that's the big thing about barbecue even though it's everyone says it's well worth the wait but i hate waiting more than 30 minutes for my food even if it's going to be like work like mouth watering it's just i hate waiting so and that's one thing about all these barbecue places is that you have to usually wait two hours minimum sometimes just to even get some food and to me it's like that's not always worth it i'm not that much of a foodie but i digress so we talked about a little bit about the elgin depot museum that they, they have historical photographs from the area so back in the railroad days and i'm sure the flood the flood uh the flood days and they have this uh, antique mall which i kind of felt pretty i thought it was pretty cool because eight thousand eight, 8, square feet of year-round treasure shopping collectibles glassware so if you're buying a home and you really want to decorate with one of one of a kind pieces i would go here right i would go here because you could who knows what treasures you could find i mean this is like that one show oh what is it called american pickers i love that show of where you're just going to find some really unique items that you could decorate your home with and it's not gonna and that's gonna give your home some personality because i know one complaint that i get from people for new construction homes is that it's very cookie cutter i'm like i get that uh but that's how most new homes are and i think that's i think that's fine because that's how you get an affordable price point and it's up to you to decorate it as you see fit to make it your own and give it some style and i like that it's like the builder's giving you a blank canvas in that sense 
So let's move on. That was the, those three so far. So moving on to Liberty Tree Tavern. If you're looking for a refreshing breath beverage and some live music in a building that once that was once a funeral home, <laughs> then the Liberty Tree Tavern is for you. I feel like they could have done something here with that name. A clever pun, if you will, if it, if it used to be a funeral home. Because Liberty Tree Tavern, Tree of Life, maybe, that's what they were going for. I mean, the pictures for this thing are, were pretty were pretty awesome. Uh, is a live music headquarters with your favorite local musician. So Austin is the capital of live music, live music central. And here we found in Elgin, Texas, where they have their live music, Liberty Tree Tavern on their main street. Okay. Then they have the downtown, I mean, down home ranch, a 410 acre working farm, empowering people's lives through residential educational, social, and vocational programs such as residency, ranch camp, or respite opportunities. Now, I know this was like an equestrian uh, facility. Our mission is to power lives through intellectual development and dis disabilities through social, educational, residential, and vocational opportunities. I may have got this one wrong. This is something else I was thinking of, something else. Downtown home. So this is really... Uh, where they're empowering people's lives through residential, educational. Okay, I, I, I was thinking this was an equestrian thing. I'm getting confused. But that's pretty amazing that they have 410 acres dedicated to helping people uh, with with some of these uh, ability With social activities and it sounds like ways to give programs, residency, ranch camp. It's just a way to give back, it looks like. Howdy at Ranch Camp. We've been encouraging youth and adults 13 plus with a range of cognitive disabilities. Okay. So, wow, that's pretty incredible. I thought this was something else. Anyways, the Hog Eye Festival. So, this happens at the end of October, where the streets are closed down for their annual cook-off, arts and crafts, a road ho hog car show, live music, a carnival, talent show, a kids parade, and so much more. The car, the hog car show made me think of Tim Allen and home and home improvement. Like I would love, you know, remember that when he was rebuilding that old hog with his, with his son, I, I love that, that part of the, those episodes of the show. And yeah, that's what I want. Just look at this picture. I mean, this is, if this is not small town vibes, this is a reminder of Pawnee from parks and recreation where they close down the main street and then you have all these little pop-up tents and you have all the probably these are all probably local vendors and just look at just how mm, at the end of october too that's actually really nice weather for the end of october actually but the summers are long here in texas so october makes sense and you can kind of see here they just have a ton of things to do and this is this was their 30 30 something yeah 36 annual so this has been going on for quite some time uh, show festival show called the hog eye festival and they even have a nice little countdown thing here i mean that's pretty incredible brought to you by the city of elgin main street program the hog eye festival is a downtown street festival held on the fourth saturday of october Hog Eye celebrates community, family, famous elegant sausage, and all things swine. <laughs> Love it. I Love that. Okay. Nope, I do not want to download. I just want to present. Thank you. All right. Moving on. We have Thomas Memorial Park. It's a 12-acre park featuring several ball fields, picnic tables, and a nine-hole disc golf course, volleyball court, and playground and trails. That's one thing I've noticed all throughout Austin is they have their disc golf course on uh, more, uh, almost rivaling their pickleball courts. And that's not something that so I've seen so much in California. That's really big out here. And this was the equestrian thing I was getting confused with. Uh, so th this is the White Fences Equestrian Center. So they have lessons, boarding, training, and shows, as well as a guided trail rides. The trail rides take you through miles of rolling hill country and forest trails, suitable for all experience levels. That's pretty cool. I've had, I mean, if you're in Texas, you're going to get the bug to want to ride a horse. Guaranteed. Whether that's in kind of like a designated area like this, 
or it's out in the hill country you're gonna probably do, do both what if you do one because it's just a thing to do out here it's the te it's almost a texas thing that you you it's very easy very easy to adapt to right i know i've done that already you know uh, in a different in a different in a different uh, city but nonetheless riding horses and it's just so fun and, th and therapeutic actually here's a fun one this is the sip shop and stroll i actually want to attend this one day because it does sound pretty cool because it happens once every month it says local retailers invite folks to sip shop and stroll their way through downtown elgin you'll find live music beer and wine tastings store specials and much much more with extended store hours and specials throughout the town so you get to sip shop and stroll once a month because it's on the second thursday of each month from five to eight you could sample wines and local foods enjoy live entertainment and shop for one-of-a-kind gifts jewelry home decor art and more isn't that awesome? I mean, they really put on events. Not usually I'm used to seeing in these master plan communities, there's like a lifestyle consultant or somebody there that puts on activities and events for the members of the community of the of that of these new construction homes. But this is the actual city of Elgin, Texas putting on events so their whole community can can come together as a city, which is so and, and again, that's part of the small town charm that you don't get from these big cities. That's just like, uh that's something that's going to be, if you're coming from a big city, that's going to be, wow, you're not going to be used to it. And you're going to be like, you're going to love that. You're going to love that. I know I do. And last but not least, the old Coupling Inn and Dance Hall. I have not been here yet, but looking at their website and you usually get the uh, footloose vibes for sure. Eat, drink and dance. Built in 1904, the building began as a night as a Coupling drug company in 1911. The building now has a restaurant, dance hall, with live music, and rooms to book in their unique 1800s Wild West brothel-style bed and breakfast. Oh, I could totally have my birthday here. Because I love old, I love that Western Western kind of aesthetic. Now, their website's not too too great, but I saw their Instagram, and they had some pretty good pictures. So, you guys, so we could take a look at some of the bands that they have. We have Kin Fa. And David Lewis, some pictures of their, wow, look at, look at that. Look at the thickness of that steak. Mm. We have Tristan Merez. There you go. Some live music. That is pretty cool. Look at that. Definitely that. Wild Wild West Western. I'm sure. I'm. I, I was trying to see if I could more pictures of the dance hall because I bet you people, you know, they go line dancing. But then I get like these footloose vibes just from the, this one picture right here. I don't know. It just it, that's it, that's what it screams to me. So there you have it. There is your ultimate guide for the city of Elgin, Texas. And the only con really is that you're not here yet. You know. So what are you waiting for? If you're looking to buy new construction at any one of those communities that I mentioned, I'll have all my information in the description. The fastest and easiest way to get in touch with me is just to probably email me or send me a DM on any one of my social platforms so we can schedule uh, and follow my link so you can schedule a, a Zoom call so we can get some face-to-face -face time. That's usually the, the quickest way to get a hold of me and that way we can have a meaningful conversation usually if people call me right off the bat i'm usually doing something and i usually will tell you like hey can you just set up a time on my calendar link because i'm always doing something so for our conversation to be very meaningful uh it's better if we just schedule something on my calendar link and do like a little zoom call and then figure out uh, where, where to go from there but i appreciate you for watching again this is elgin texas just 20 miles east of austin texas and they have a lot of brand new homes at an affordable price point starting in the mid or in the high 200s and anywhere from the low 300s to up to the on the high end 400s and they were, but we're talking about bigger homes um dip more uh, more floor plans but they have a variety of floor plans at different price points but the big point i'm trying to make here is that they have affordable starting 
price points that are affordable for folks because we're, ta we're talking in the high 200s here. And they have some amazing incentives that will help buy down that interest rate, pay for closing costs. It just depends. But I appreciate you for watching again. My name is Omar Pineda. I'm your Austin Realtor with EXP Realty, and I'll catch you on the next one.